EPA Reuters get Idrisa May has back plans for international action against Syria Mrs. May held telephone conversations with U.S. President Donald Trump and French President Emmanuel Macron and agreed the international community needed to respond to uphold the worldwide prohibition on the use of chemical weapons, a Downing Street spokeswoman said. The Prime Minister held separate telephone conversations earlier today with a Mr. Trump and Mr. Macron. They agreed that reports of a chemical weapons attack in Syria were utterly reprehensible and if confirmed, represented further evidence of the Assad regime's appalling cruelty against its own people and total disregard for its legal obligations not to use these weapons. GTTYA youngster is given emergency treatment after a suspected poison gas attack in Syria they agreed the international community needed to uphold the worldwide prohibition on the use of chemical weapons Downing Street spokeswoman, they agreed that the international community needed to respond to uphold the worldwide prohibition on the use of chemical weapons, they agreed they would continue working closely together and with international partners to ensure that those responsible were held to account. Earlier, Mr. Trump said the apparent poison gas attack in Syria will be met forcefully after holding talks with military leaders in Washington. He did not give a time frame for any retaliatory action but said the U.S. could not stand by as such atrocities take place because we are able to stop it, Getty Syrian children in the aftermath of a suspected gas attack The comments from the White House came after Moscow's ambassador to the UN warned of the potential consequences to Western intervention in Syria. Vasily Nebenzia said U.S. attacks on Syria could lead to grave repercussions during heated exchanges at the UN Security Council. U.S. Ambassador Nikki Haley accused Russia of having the blood of Syrian children on its hands after Mr. Trump said that nothing's off the table in dealing with the alleged outrage. Mr. Nebenzia dismissed claims the Syrian regime had used chemical weapons as fake news, as he called for inspectors from the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons to fly to Syria to visit the site of the attack, which has left at least 40 people, including children, dead. Pictures from the Syrian